dear students and my dear viewers welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about the structural and functional unit of the kidney that is nephron now in this session we are going to discuss about the vascular segments of the kidney okay normally the kidneys are supplied by a renal artery so here you can see the renal artery which are direct branches from the abdominal aorta so which is the direct branch of abdominal aorta okay the arteries are large in size since the entire blood has to pass through the kidneys for filtration because of their direct origin from the aorta there is a good pressure head for filtration each renal artery on entering into the hilum okay divides into five segmental branches each branch is supplying to a definite segment of the kidneys those branches are called as segmental branches okay here in this um, diagram you can see the left kidney segmental branches both on anterior aspect as well as the posterior aspect here this is the anterior one and this is the posterior aspect of the left kidney okay now we will see what are the segments present on the anterior side as well as uh, what are the segments present on the posterior side okay yes so on the anterior aspect the each kidney both right and left kidneys are divided into the upper part called as apical part apical and the next the lower one is called as basal part lower basal part and um, here you can see the upper and middle part so here this segment this segment is upper segment and this segment is middle segment these are the four segments which we can see on the anterior aspect of the kidney both on right side as well as on the left side okay now coming to the posterior aspect we can find uh only the uh, posterior thing posterior segment so this one so here we can see the major portion of the posterior segment we can find small amounts of apical upper middle and lower the major one is the posterior segment okay these are all the five segments uh, vascular segments present in the kidney so the uh, the renal artery um, which is a branch of abdominal aorta which divides into big anterior branch so here you can see the big anterior branch and um, the posterior branch is small you can see the dotted lines here that is the posterior one so the anterior branch supplies four segments so the anterior branch supplies four segments okay so four segmental branches are arising from the anterior branch of the renal artery whereas the posterior branch supplies only one segment that is posterior segment so um these are all the branches uh of the uh, uh, renal artery these are the segmental branches and um, so the branches which supply the anterior and uh, posterior halves of the kidney do not anastomose with each other okay and they confine themselves in their respective halves only so this is a very very important uh, point you have to keep it in mind so that means the anterior branches as well as the posterior branches never anastomose okay and um, 
because of this um, there is a bloodless zone called as brodel's line so this one becomes the brodel's line or it is called as uh, bloodless zone through which the kidney can be split into two halves without shedding blood okay this is uh, made use in the surgical explorations of the kidney okay and none of the branches of the renal artery anastomosis sufficiently to prevent renal infraction and necrosis if a major branch is occluded but anastomosis between the renal and systemic vessels occur in the fat around the kidney where the perforating capsular vessels join branches from suprarenal okay suprarenal and gonadal lumbar phrenic and superior and inferior mesenteric vessels okay these are all about the vascular segments we can see um on the left kidney so i want to um, show the same segments on the right side also here you can see and this is the right kidney anterior aspect and this one is right kidney posterior aspect so here you can see this is the renal artery which is a direct branch of abdominal aorta so normally at the l2 level this renal artery comes uh, the branch comes out like this and it divides into anterior branch as well as the posterior branch so the anterior branch um, uh will move in front of the renal pelvis and the posterior branch which passes behind the renal pelvis okay to reach the posterior part of the kidney whereas this anterior branch reaches the anterior aspect of the kidney and this one the renal artery on the anterior aspect gives um, four segmental arteries which supplies a definite part of the uh, kidney that is a segment definite segment of a kidney so they these arteries are called as segmental arteries so on the anterior aspect again we can see the apical one okay so here you can see the apical one and the basal one here and um, uh, upper one and the middle one so these are the four segments if you see on the posterior aspect so this posterior one uh, only supplies the posterior segment okay so and the anterior branch is the big branch whereas the posterior one is the smaller branch and we can find this avascular line that is bloodless region so here normally the surgical incisions are made so these are all the vascular segments of the kidney so in the renal circulation we are going to discuss about how the segmental arteries are going to divide further and how these vessels are supplying the remaining parts of the kidney in the medulla as well as the cortical regions and how the veins are formed and um, which are connected to the uh, renal vein all those things we are going to discuss in the uh, renal circulation that is in the next video thank you